Hello Aquarius. I was just tempted to sing that song. Aquarius. But I won't. But I just did. Welcome to your love and relationships reading for the weekend 23rd to the 24th of September 2017. Uh, we've got a new moon in Virgo tomorrow. I'm reading on the, uh, the 20th, Wednesday the 20th. Uh, we are at the Equinox, which is a lovely, peaceful, largely unnoticed place to be. Isn't it funny how the peaceful things go unnoticed? Um, so let's see what we have for you for the weekend with love and relationships. Here we go. Card one, strength in the upright position. This is a major arcana reading, by the way, three cards. Strength in the upright position. Hangman in the upright position. The Magician in the Upright Position. Okay. It's, I'm quite surprised that they're all in the upright. Because um, I've been shuffling this way and that. But anyway, here we go. So, card one in this spread. Strength in the Upright Position. This represents where you find yourself. Where you see yourself. Things as they appear to be to you. So, well, there are worse places to, to think that you are or to find yourself. Um, I'm particularly interested in the depiction of strength in this pack. Um, I mean, look at the lady. She's looking very civilised. She's in her town wear. She's not out in the jungle. Right. And yet she's wrestling and overcoming, but holding the bloody jaws of this, like, hugely dangerous wild creature. So... That's a good place to see yourself. Card two in this spread represents uh, the veil, that which is obscuring your vision, perhaps um, creating some blind spots to you, making it difficult for you to see what's actually in front of you. Um, yeah, obscuring your vision. And we have the hangman. So we have a sense of uh, waiting, perhaps being able to wait. Perhaps you don't actually have to kind of do anything. Let's see, card three in this spread is uh, things as they really are, Aquarius. So it's not hugely problematic, I think. I mean, we have the uh, the wizard, the magician here with his paraphernalia all over the table, looking uh, very confident, very, very confident. This is a card of manifestation and kind of clever, clever manifestation. This is a card of pulling things off, pulling things out of the bag, and we have it in the upright position, so so it's all good. Um, okay, I'm just going to jump straight in here. There is less time than you think there is, Aquarius, to... Uh, achieve whatever it is you want to achieve um something's going to pop out the bag this weekend uh, i don't think it's anything really bad but i think i think perhaps you're going to get a surprise <laughs> you're going to get a surprise and it's it's whatever is coming whatever this dude's going to pull out of his uh, top hat it's going to take you by surprise, and not necessarily in a bad way, but I think things might be moved along more quickly than you uh, expect them to, and that's not always comfortable. I think you have this sense that things are stable, perhaps a little bit dull, but maybe you like it that way, you're on it. You're on it. You've tamed the wild beast, or so you think. <laughs> of course, none of us ever has, because <laughs> we, we don't know what's coming, which is what we're all doing here on these tarot channels, trying to work out what the fuck is coming down the line. You're going to get a surprise. And I think it's going to please you, to tell you the truth. Um, so that's good. I'm going to see if I can get some clarification on this. Because there's a real sense of confidence here. And I'm quite surprised, I have to say, to see this uh, sense of confidence and of yet yeah, mastery of uh, wild forces. 
up next to this. They, they, it seems counterintuitive that they would be together. Somewhat. I'm, I'm going to get see if I can get some clarification on this. Okay. Of justice in the reverse position. With your sense of where you are. Uh -huh. mm. Are you wondering whether someone's been playing around? And kind of overcoming. Oh God, I might have to rejig re what I've said about this in the light of this. Are you, have you been working on sort of trying to control your own jealousy and your own suspicion about someone? And yet feeling like you might be being wronged. But you're just kind of biding your time to see what happens. Because I always feel about this hangman that, that whatever it is that is that sees him uh, hooked up on this tree... It might be externally imposed or it might be your own decision to just hold fire. Right, so now I'm going to see what's connected with this dude. I mean, he is in the upright position. When he's reversed, this is about pure manipulation, trickery and sleight of hand. And, and yeah, real like hardcore manipulation. Um, but he's in the upright. So let's see what else we can find on this. Okay, <laughs> the Empress. Right, Aquarius. I've got feeling, I've got feeling that you might find out this weekend that um, the person you're involved with or wanting to be involved with or thinking about getting involved with um, is already hitched. Uh, because there is, there, there is, um, I get a strong feeling that this, this is someone else, this Empress. And I've got to say, I think it is probably mainly women who come and come to these readings. It is mainly women who read. Um, and uh, I think you, you might be getting a um, either confirmation or wind that um, the person concerned is already hitched, which would be a shame. I'm just going to see if there's any other way that I can read this, whether I've got this wrong, because that's a hell of a thing to say. I do understand that. Uh, no, I'm not getting anything else through. And what I'm getting through in addition is that when this comes out, it might actually come quite willingly from this person and they're going to expect you to be fine about it. They're going to expect you to be fine about it. And they are going to either deliberately, uh, either genuinely or falsely, I've got to say, I know he's in the upright position, but the presence of this here, the presence of the Empress here um, in conjunction with them uh, worries me. I think they're, they're, they're going to either be genuinely surprised that you're not OK with it, <laughs> presuming that you're not, um, or they're going to kind of pretend to be surprised because if if this is right, if this is correct, I think you're going to be invited into some kind of three-way thing. And, you know, that might float your boat, it might not. Um, I'm partly minded to draw another card to see about that, but I'm not going to because that is absolutely down to you. But, <laughs> yeah, I think you know you're dealing with a player. And you are trying, you've been trying to sort of tell yourself that you can handle it, that you're fine, because we have the strength card here, you know, you can handle your own feelings about this and possibly even handle them, even though, obviously, it's not really what you want because you feel you're being wronged and... Uh, 
and you think that if you just play it cool, you can handle this and perhaps get the result you want. But I think what's coming this weekend, my loves, is that you're going to find out either for definite or there's going to be something said or something's going to happen and you're going to notice something that is going to suggest to you strongly that there is already someone else in the frame. And, uh, you know, th this magician here who I said is going to try to kind of present this as like, well, yeah, Puh, you're all right with that, aren't you? I think to me, the, the, I think part of the reason I've, I've got the feeling that they're going to react like that when you say, oh, shit, you've already got a wife, <laughs> basically, is because you have been coming across in this strength card as someone who can handle that. But you don't really want it, do you? You feel it's wrong. Anyway, listen, uh, please leave me a comment. Um, if there's uh, anything in this that, that um, has actually transpired for you or is going on for you, I'd be, f well, sorry, I don't want to sound really pervy and say I'd be fascinated to know because it, it is essentially none of my business. But yeah, there's a surprise coming. It's going to pull you up short and you are going to be um, uh, treated as if you shouldn't be surprised at all. So that's what I see for you this weekend. Good luck, Aquarius. Good luck, good luck, good luck. But please do pay attention to that Justice Reverse card. Don't try to push yourself into something that you're not comfortable with. Jolly good. There we go. Uh, please like, please share, please subscribe. As I said, leave a little comment and uh, tune in for another reading in due course. And if you would like a personal reading, my email address is in the description box below. Don't hesitate to contact me. Cheers, Aquarius. All best. Bye bye.